Look, that's enough of that. The greatest of all time. I want you to think about all this. All this stuff that I'm about to tell you. The greatest of all time. The greatest backyard beatdown in history. The one that went to every trailer park in history. The one that's going to rip the Backyard Beatdown title off of David Awful. He will make his presence felt at Backyard Beatdown one year anniversary. Without Mikey, you would be nothing. You don't like him because he's not a corporate puppet. And that's all that David Awesome is. A 20-pound corporate puppet. So on and so forth. And you know what I say to Jason Cole when he spews all that garbage? You know what I say? What a load. What a crock. You are full of garbage. And all you do is suck up to the great Mikey. You know, he says that Mikey is going to make his presence known this Friday at Backyard Beatdown. Season 2, Episode 4. One year anniversary. I'm still waiting for him to make his presence known. I'm still waiting for him to uh, show why he's so great outside of suplexes. Taking David Awesome to Suplex City. <laughs> because that was his specialty in uh, Season 2, Episode 1. Suplex City. Um, which you can check out on the channel. Guys, when we look at Mikey, and we look at the build to the one-year anniversary show, what can we really say about him? That he kicked me in the chest at the last backyard beatdown, said a few words about me, and we haven't heard from him since. When we think of Mikey, and we think about his backyard beatdown title reign uh, from last season after he beat me, not clean, mind you, not clean. He had to have uh, uh, help from the ref then with a fast count. What did he do with it? You know, he says he went to every trailer park. Um, I'm still waiting to see what trailer parks he went to and everything because I haven't seen any type of footage or anything what trailer park he went to because he can't prove it. He can't prove it. He can't prove where he went. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, when we think of Mikey and we think about his last matchup, you know, Jason Cole likes to say, I helped David Awesome and I, he cheated and all this other crap. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. David Awesome didn't do anything that Mikey did earlier in the match. Didn't do one thing that Mikey didn't do earlier in the match. You know, Mikey had to have help from Jason Cole with Jason's ugly towel uh, earlier in the match 
to set David Awesome up for Mikey's not very well executed <laughs> uh, super kick. David Awesome super kick is much more uh, executed. Uh, I mean, that's just me. But um, whatever. You know, Mikey, when we look at everything that he represents in Backyard Beatdown, he represents somebody who can't get the job done. He can't get the job done. He just can't. Now, some might say, well, David Awesome has needed help. David Awesome would have been in complete, David Awesome would have easily beaten Farva by himself. Easily. He didn't need me to be the referee. David Awesome would have easily beaten Mikey if Jason wouldn't have interfered. Mikey, I say we raise the stakes. I say this matchup, we raise the stakes outside of just the title matchup. If you're so great, as Jason Cole says you are, if this, if you can easily beat David and all this stuff, which I'm still questioning because we haven't heard a word from you, then how about this? One year anniversary, season two, episode four. If you win, you become the Backyard Beatdown Champion. But if you lose, if you lose, you will never get another shot at the title. As long as David Awesome is Backyard Beatdown Champion. And trust me when I say this, he's going to be holding on to that title for a long time. Mikey, Jason, we're waiting on you. Until I see you again, catch you on the other side.